People often ask me how I got good at drawing, and I usually say math class. No, I didn't go to school to learn how to draw, but I did go to school uh, to learn other things. But because I was such a bad student, I often found myself uh, in the back of the class doodling in my little uh, sketchbook instead of listening to whatever the teacher was trying to communicate at the blackboard. Nowadays, kids have, of course, their phones to uh, just pass the time. I didn't have that back in, in my day, so uh, what I did to not lose my mind when I was bored out of my skull in school was uh, drawing. There are two basic levels to drawing, and I'm gonna go through them in this video. By the end of it, you will know what level you're on. I will also mention a level three, but let's see how far we get with levels one and two. Level one is where most of us start out drawing as kids. We draw monsters and faces and cars and whatever, just using our own imagination and whatever drawing skill we were born with. Notice how kids often draw trees. We recognize this as a tree, although it looks like a giant broccoli or something. The reason, of course, is that it was drawn from memory using only a blank piece of paper and no reference. I used to think that using reference photos or drawing from life and putting it in your comic was somehow cheating. And boy, was I wrong. If you look up from your drawing board, maybe there's a window nearby and maybe you can see a tree outside that window. Look at that tree, really look at it, study its form, then grab your pencil and see if you can somehow translate the 3D object into a 2D drawing. What lines are important? What gives the tree its treeness? Your drawing may end up looking something like this. That's level two. When you can see things and convert them into lines on paper. It also turns out it's very hard to keep that self-critical voice. You know, the one that says you can't draw to save your life. It's, it's hard to keep that voice going when you're focused on translating an object in reality to a drawing on paper. That's a great uh, little side benefit of level two. Oh, and level three, that's when you combine levels one and two, both your own imagination and reference photos and drawing from life. When you can seamlessly blend reference into your artwork and make it look like the same kind of expression when it's all done in your own style. We can all draw from our imagination, but it doesn't surprise us a lot and we don't really get better at our craft doing that. And I'm sorry to say there are really no shortcuts here, just lots and lots of practice. Bonus tip, keep your failed attempts on file. When you look back after 10, 20 or 50 drawings of trees or people or cars, you'll notice vast improvement, which will give you momentum to keep going. Thanks for watching this and happy drawing.